Salutations, everyone! My name is Kenny Sis, and welcome back to some more of The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds! In the last episode, we saved the Zora Queen, and we, ha we obtained the flippers. We also met with the mining guy, what's his face, up in the north, and we also got the, uh, the power glove. We also did a little bit of exploring, did some mini games, and collected some heart pieces in this episode. Uh, we are going to be going to the east. I think this is the east. I, I, I'm good with directions. We're going to be going over here and going over to uh, this little temple over here. And we're going to be doing some dungeons this episode. Oh yeah, we don't really need to... Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting confused. We can just swim over there. I forgot we have the Zora flippers. So now that we have the flippers, we can just... We can swim all the way into the water. And we're gonna go ahead and activate this wind... This, this, uh, this turbine thingy. Weather vane. <laughs> We're gonna go activate this weather vane, and now we'll have fast shuttle access to the Tower of Hera. Uh, the, not the Tower of Hera. This is the wind of, uh... The wind... Ta... What is it? What the heck? What is this place called? House of Gales! That's what this place is called. This place is, uh, the House of Gales. I, I know what I'm talking about. Anyways. Uh... I will be in a, in a bit. Uh, use a tornado rod, and you, there's a little button here. However, we're not gonna go in immediately. I instead want to come up here. And there's a little cave right here. What does it say before we blow it to smithereens? Do not enter, do not blow up. Whoa, very strange creature inside. Well, I'm blowing up your wall anyways, and also destroying your sign. How do you feel about that? <laughs> anyways, hello there. Oh my, oh my, oh my. What business have you had with Mother Maya Mai? Uh, forgive me if my spirits aren't flying so high. We were on a great voyage through all the worlds, my tykes and I. And I lost sight of my little Maya Mai's. Oh, 100 of my babies by and by. Could you find all of them? You'll hear my children crying, calling for their mother, Maya Mai. Of course. Thanks! Mother Maya Mai finds you quite a kind child. Here, take this. It'll help you know if my tykes are nearby. Oh yes, upon the Maya Mai map, you can surely rely. Go on, tap the Maya Mai map icon on your touch screen. <laughs> Those numbers tell you how many of my little Maya Mai's are in each area. At least until you've rescued some, and then it'll tell you how, uh, it'll tell you only how many more you have left, uh, you have yet to find. Now please, go and search for all of my Maya Mai's. They call out with such cute chirping sounds, yet they must be so sad missing their mother Maya Mai. So that is another collectible we must find. We must find all the Maya Mai's. And coincidentally, there is one right here. You caught a lost Maya Mai. Take it to Mother Maya Mai, won't you? The Maya Mai's are essentially this game's version of the gold sculptulas from uh, Ocarina of Time. Uh, except the reward for collecting all of them is uh, way better. <laughs> um, there is one more thing I want to do. There is a little... There is a thing... I hope you appreciate this. You know I've got left my own, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is something we have to do over by the Eastern Palace real quick. Um... 
There's actually two things. I think it's really nice. Can I jump down here? No, I can't. Go away, go away, go away. Bye. Give me that. How do I get up there? Ow. Uh, oh, here we go. So, with, since, since we have the uh, the power glove, we can pick up these rocks over here. And we can come over here. Kill this Armos and blow up this wall. We are going to be... Uh, speaking of the mind we are going to be collecting all of them, so... We're gonna be collecting all the Maya Mayas, so keep in mind. Did I get this piece of heart on my stream? I don't remember going through this place at all. Maybe I'm just dumb. Anyways, there is one more thing we have to do here. I'm gonna put my hammer on. Ow! God damn! Bro! Go away! Ooh, there's a Mai Mai right here. We just need to bash into the, uh, bash into the tree, and then we can cut, uh, catch a lost Mai Mai. Come down here. Deal with these tactites. I think it's over here. Yes, it is. Oh god. If we slam these down, we can get ourselves another piece of heart. And that is going to be the last piece of heart that we can collect uh, until we go up into the mountains. I know my fortune said to take care of green, but that bell is doing uh, that bell is doing a job on my noggin. Let's uh, go ahead and put the, the tornado rod back on, come over here, blow this, and we get another Maya Mai. We will have a dedicated episode to um, collecting all of the Maya Mayas. So I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna currently be going for all of them. But I will be going for the ones we passed by and the ones I know of. But once we have everything we need, I will be going full force for all of the Maya Mayas. Anyways, anyways. Oh, I thought that rat was another Maya Mai. I think Maya Mai's can show up in dungeons. I don't, I don't know that for certain, but I think they can. Anyways, this is the House of Gales. A house uh, dedicated to using the, tor uh, the tornado rod and all sorts of wind-like puzzles. So we got these... We got these strong blowing. Ah! We got these strong blowing. Got. I wanted that blue ruby. Whatever. We got these fans that blow uh, strongly. If that's even a word. Uh, and if we get into them, we will be blown away. So we have to be careful. Uh, we're gonna need our lantern. I'm gonna be trying to go for all the chests in the dungeon that, uh, as well. But that's also not a promise, because I don't know how to get all of the chests. Uh, oh wait, did I do this? I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some puzzles that I uh, lost track of. I think these guys are called anti fairies. At least I know that's what they were called in the uh, SNES version. 
I'm a link, I'm a link to the past. Can I just hit you? I, I can't. So I, I need to use the one in a rod. Yeah, these guys aren't, these guys aren't really a problem. Oh wait, what the heck? <laughs> Someone followed my Twitch without me even streaming. That's hilarious. I'll have to, uh, thank that guy when I hop on, then. It's always entertaining whenever I see something like that happen. Like, someone... Someone follows... Uh, my Twitch whenever, uh... Whenever I'm not streaming. Which, by the way, I do stream on Twitch, and you guys can, uh... You guys can watch me stream if you really want. I stream every Thursday through Sunday, and sometimes I'll be streaming Let's Plays like this. This, this, this used to be a uh, streaming Let's Play. Ah, I missed. This, this used to be a, uh, a streamed Let's Play, but then I lost the recording file, and now I can't, I can't just, uh, download it off of a uh, Twitch because it no longer exists. So I'm just doing this on my own. Uh... Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that was close. How do I get over to that chest, though? Can I hookshot there? You know what? You know, I I never think to ever do this. Oh, and I can't. Okay. I'm gonna have to go from the other side then. I always forget the merge is a thing. Which is very troublesome because that's this that, that's this game's entire gimmick. <laughs> That, that's a problem. Oh boy. This is, this, this is making me nervous. Oh boy, uh... Okay. Really? All that for a blue repeat? Uh, whatever. Money is really important in this game, however, soon we won't really need it as much. Like in every Zelda game. There we go. A silver rupee. Ooh, that was definitely worth it. Right. Now let's just go back into this wind gust thing, this fan. Ow! Uh, let's do that. Activates that big uh, fan right there. Can't believe I couldn't think of the word fan. What the hell? <laughs> Hookshot does do slight amount of damage, but it's not too much. See, it can't, it can't even kill a keys. It can stun them, but it can't kill them. Got this little bar right here. I think... Can we... Ow. No, you can't. Alright, never mind. I thought you could destroy it. You could destroy the uh, the little bar, but I guess you can't. Ow! Stop! Use a hook shot. You can also use your boomerang though, but I like using the hook shot. The hook shot 
uh, is very useful. Uh, I don't know if if I've used it in the previous episode, but the hookshot can pull you towards objects like wood, like wooden objects and other certain things. Uh, it can also pull uh, items to you, and it can damage or stun uh, some enemies as well. The hookshot's really useful at times. It's probably one of my favorite uh, Zelda items, at, like in the whole series. I'll go over uh, each item as we use them. one. Okay, that moves that. Help. Oh, okay. these guys! Yeah! Ooh, red rupee. Thank you so much. Ow. Give me that. And we got the big key. Uh, I forgot. I didn't mention this uh, in the last episode. Not, not in the last episode, but I think the last dungeon. The big key was used for opening not only the boss door, but also the... Uh, also the dungeon chest. The dungeon item chest in A Link to the Past. How the heck? Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I, I, it hasn't been that long since I've done this dungeon, so I don't know why I'm stumped. Right. Let's just do this. So, the thumbnails, by the way, are going to get a major change, uh, thanks to the wonderful, uh, text. But, um... For right now, so, so, like, the little... The, uh... The thumbnails you see now, where it's like, uh, oh, the, the, the... The number, and then a major point of the game or whatever. That's not going to be a thing for much longer. At least not in this series. I want to I want to make that a habit though. I don't really remember hearing this song anywhere in, in the game. I think this is the only spot. I can't think of anywhere where that song plays. Wait, so what's the point of that? <laughs> what's the point of that area if I can just... Whatever. Um... <laughs> that was easy. Go away! Give me that. Monster guts can be used for, uh... The mo monster parts in general can be used for, uh... Making potions, by the way. I, I don't really make use of them, honestly. But I kind of want to try. I 
I, I, I kind of want to try and make use of them because I never do. And I want to see what they can really do. Activate that little fan right there. Well, not, not a little fan, that's a pretty big fan. So I don't know, I don't know about little. <laughs> Keys! Oh, that's a lot of these things. Oh, God. Gimme. 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 Eh. Uh... I think I can just do that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure these guys go down in one arrow hit. I'm not too sure if that's true. But, uh, so next time... Next time we see another one of those guys, I'm gonna be, uh... Smacking him with an arrow in the eye. Oh boy. Can I just throw, can I throw a pot at you guys? I missed. I can't, all right, no. Oh my God, there's so many of them. <laughs> they were all just bunched up, that was hilarious. Ow. Oh, please fall, yes. <laughs> Didn't even do much. He just he just jumped off the edge. He didn't want he didn't want to work for the bad guy anymore. He didn't want to work for Yuga anymore. That was hilarious. Uh, I need to go. Ooh, that was a red roofie. Those and small key. We're gonna need this. Wait, couldn't I have just? Oh wait, no, I couldn't. Whatever. How am I supposed to get on to? Whatever. I don't need more rupees. I'm fine on rupees. Stay on this, and then once it starts moving... No. Sit ah! on down. And we're fighting a big Beyblade! This is, I for, uh, his name will pop up on the screen because I don't know his name. <laughs> even after, even after the, uh, the little technical difficulty problem, I still am ne neglecting to learn anyone's name. Ah! I might honestly stick to just flashing up the boss's names on screen because doing every single anime would be, is, uh, Lot, but I'll try. I gotta figure out who I did first of all. This guy isn't so bad. You just hit his hit his segments away, use a tornado rod to get on top of him, and then rush off. He's not bad at all. Now he is four, five, six stories tall. But he's still out. out Not bad at all, but although his uh, little segments kind of look a little fleshy and it's a little gross and I don't like him, so let's just take care of him quick and easy. You want to make sure you're staying on the move so that you don't get knocked into the void like I did. Ow, ow, ow. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> he doesn't 
doesn't do damage himself, but he does push hard and fast. Ow! God, stop! Oh my... Dude! Please! Let me knock out your segments! This should be the last time! Heart piece or heart container, I mean. And with that, you got the pendant of wisdom. Keep your mind sharp. Only one more pendant to go. Oh, hey, dude. I had water today, so I swam here with the queen, but she swims so fast and I got left behind. I'm hurt, to be honest. The queen left me behind. I feel abandoned. Aww. Don't worry, man. I know how you feel. I was abandoned, too. Alright, and with that, I believe we should end things here. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds, we will be going up to the mountains and, and actually exploring the Tower of Hera. Getting the last pendant and saving the, the princess from the dreaded Yuga. See you guys then. Goodbye! Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you watched so far. Be sure to follow the Twitter for any The Legend of the Soulstone news and updates. Speaking of The Legend of the Soulstones, go try out the latest demo up to Chapter 2. It's free, and if you liked what you've played so far and want to chip in to help, why not consider buying the pre-order of the Chapter 3 update? We're working hard to make it the best we possibly can, though playing the demo is good enough for me. If you want to chat with me or hang out with the crew, why not join the Trash Bin Tavern? The link is in the description below. I also stream on Twitch at times with the same name. I hope you all enjoyed, and until next time, goodbye!